Hello, friends, friends of Komodo, friends of Pirate, friends of Crypto, friends of Price Charts, friends of E. Giuliano. That is I. It is 6th May 2021. You know, shout out to all of the electricians out there or just anybody who really has electrical skills. But really, those electricians out there, you things that you do to bring power into our infrastructures is quite incredible so thank you had a bit of an electricity thing going on yesterday just basically no power so that's what was happening on my end now what was happening here on these charts end we got btc up at the 57,000. i'm using get orox here i'm in the grid mode as opposed to this light mode which we're used to seeing for these price charts we move over to the grid mode for today and with the grid mode the btc over here we're seeing on a daily chart okay look nice reversal candle here big engulfing candle here but then fizzle in the next day now we're coming today at about three utc nearly so we're 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 basically midway the day it, yeah but of course different time zones play different time zones so we don't know whenever this is a 24 7 market and just signals overall lots of sideways lots of sideways today we've got our usdt and we've got our btc we've got some tools enabled oh, yesterday I was going at it here let's see what we had what resulted what was I thinking yesterday and talking about yesterday? Yesterday was such a crazy day. There's a lot of treasures to be had down in these depths, okay? But there are sharks about now because of so much blood that's been happening. You get the crazy animals, electric eels and everything around here. All right. Yeah, we got, we got things to watch out for. You got your eels, you know, they want to just electrify you. Anyway. But if you got if you're still on your feet here and you're able to put on your diving suit and get yourself in for a dive into the depths and try and grab some of these treasures if and when the time comes. Now this is an R BTC chart. And what we see with this is really a strong, strong correction down. However, in terms of the okay, in terms of let's talk price and time today, okay? stock price and time uh, in terms of the overall move let's call it the overall recent move we are down below a 786 retracement from the peak so we're nearly making our one-to-one -one retracement which is good as long as we don't go below this 7000 8000 level of satoshis this blue line here it's interesting that the fib retracement one is at this um line that i had already drawn it was not relating to it now let's instead of this intraday this oh sorry this is a four hour chart so even less so this is even less time it's not even a whole day but intraday this is part of intraday and of course the intraday candle will show it but you know we can bring our our levels even lower oops a little too low how are you doing i hope you're doing well staying healthy moving around doing your best sleeping well it's not always easy you know look at what we have to deal with and that's just on a price chart speaking of price charts we have two dimensions we have time and we have price and and they they're equally important they they equally create the dimensionality of the, the potential space of the chart that the the shape and form it will take in its flow in its flow of its life so here we are now we're we're at the uh, we're at a level now which is pretty reasonable to say we should be finding bottoms if we really take it to yeah see again if we if we really take it to um a line chart now this is on a four hour uh so on a daily but it, it will give the same thing because it's the same kinds of levels so i'm saying you know this is actually supporting some of the idea i had which was with Oh, and oh wait, sorry. And the reason why this is just one move here, right? This is not part of, let's take it to the daily quickly, just for this quick study here. You're in my way, what is this? 
Oops. If we take the whole move though, so we just took, let's call it the fifth wave here. So now we're just talking about what is the fifth wave retracement? Where are we? But the fact that we haven't retraced the whole fifth wave yet, and we've spent more what's called time axis before fully retracing it means that um, we're in a good position here, in my humble opinion. Now, none of this is financial advice, but again, the basic advice was grab yourself your wetsuit here, grab your spear and get in the water and grab some of these jewels, these gems down here. Okay, all of these gems and jewels, you might not see them all. You might need to grab your light, your headlight, flashlight, and see this sucker right there. Okay, when you see it with your flashlight, it might look a bit more, uh, a bit more bright. All right. So yeah, just get get those get those places set up, but don't worry too much. I now this is a BTC chart, so anything can happen if we we know that. However, overall, again, now we're talking about this long move. Let's say from here. So if we go from here, from this move here, uh, we're talking so far between 618 and 786. And if we go here, we're talking oof, just lowering the 786 level. And if we really take peak to peak using the line chart, we are playing with that 618 level here, okay? So here we are, this is an important level. You know, we wanna make sure we, we catch on the ship and sail away. Now, what I was talking about, I might as well do it from here. Fun with lines and colors. All right. We've got first, no, I don't want to use this. I want to use the candles. Now we're on a day, and I'd rather use a smaller time frame just to show the basic idea. By the way, thanks for liking the videos and commenting. Yeah, and watching all the way through. Thanks. So we see a little bit better. Let's just get ourselves set up here. We see the initial blood bloodletting here, the initial blooding fighting here, and then we fought hard, good, and then we kept bleeding here. So the medics, like I was saying uh, to myself, if they've, if they've mended us up nicely and we can kind of just mop up the blood here, throw overboard any of the dead bodies, feed those sharks, distract them, go grab those gems if there are any opportunities and get back up on this boat. We are making a relatively rounding angulation. You see that red, red, and then yellow. The yellow is much less angulated in a slope. Okay, you understand that. So now let's try it now. Of course, we're gonna add some indicators. What is going on here? Do we not have indicators here? No, we don't. Let's add a Bollinger Band. Just to check that. Thank you. We want to now oh, change our colors because colors, colors are part of our inputs. <laughs> really, it's amazing. Light reflections creating these colors. Now, I don't know, with screens and all that, that's even more wild even more wild you know i've heard bob's ross bob ross's name mentioned a couple times and so just want to give that shout out back to bob ross we're definitely pioneers in certain spheres oh wow look how this line is just following the the 20 period average all right well this is a four hour chart we definitely have room to go down we're squeezing tighter here though. If we can round down and then get above the 20 period average, we've got some options. Let's just remind ourselves, there was an Ichimoku cloud up here where the boat is, I believe. Let's just find that Ichimoku cloud, but we're gonna have to put in our our own. Well, these are from, whoops, Dallin. If you don't check out high altitude investing, he's, he, he's got some really good macro understanding and price movement understanding and falling wedge understanding yeah i taught me a lot too on that on that level thank you so yes here is our our cl oh cloud but i don't think it has our settings so let's go and see what's the difference in our settings firstly let's get rid of some of these 
things and then we'll just focus on the inputs so 20 60 120 hope you're watching this 1.5 x 1.75 x speed something like that yeah here's our cloud here's our boat so we might ride under this cloud let's see where we go between these lines 8,000 to, to 10,000 level. Okay, can you scoop some up in the 7,000s and the 6,000s? What kind of a diver are you? <laughs> Let's see what kind of offerings we get though. It's not only up to us, right? All right, having fun with it. Okay, so that's the BT, BCT chart. We're, we're looking at uh, against Pirate, against R, and this is a coin X, okay, using the Get Orox platform. This is the daily, I just wanted to confirm, yes. Yes, so we are now, we are now. See, in the very deep waters, we have this um, this support here. However, look at this cliff here. We wanna get above this. I don't, we'll see if we can get out into the ship and get above, but we don't wanna crash into any of this. But we might, you know what? That's where we're gonna now, after this, talk about time. And we might use the dollar chart to do it because relatively the moves are the same. However, We'll watch for decoupling. Watch for decoupling if the BCT chart starts to going down and the dollar up or the other way around. Or maybe this one stays more flat. You, you, you'll, you'll pay attention to them and see what happens, okay? Speaking of paying attention, if you're not involved in the, the Discord or if, at least if you're not listening to the, the weekly meetings, that can be very helpful, all right? Staying tuned with the pirate chain. Now, as you as you get more fiat. If you want to put it into pirate, we're going to talk about that on the, the next chart. None of this is financial advice, but um, yeah, all these daily candles, red, 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 red. Uh, and this one's a little anomalous green, but it's just because it's a Bitcoin instead of dollar. And nice buying support here. Nice in kind of indecision candle, turning around candle. So this is hopeful. Hopefully it's not indecision and then further down right into the shark zone. Although, like we said, if, if all the divers out there are probably hoping for a little bit of an opportunity to dive with the sharks, because we know that around the sharks are the treasures. <laughs> for some reason, why are all the treasure ships surrounded by sharks and other sea creatures? It's just how it is, isn't it? All right, pirates. Okay, and we'll beat each other back up on the ship. All right, but I'll try to do my best to be here the entire time. We're working through May. Now that takes us back to time when we talk about things like May. We're talking down here, this axis and time. Let's look. We're, uh, June, beginning of June is going to be important. Yeah, pay attention to those uh, those meetings. You can you can check the recordings afterward if you don't catch them live on Discord. But there are a lot of you going and checking them out, so that's great. Yeah, mid May is about the ship point here, and then June is beyond. Let's see. All right, land hole over here. <laughs> Let's try and get to the land over there. Oh, all right. Okay. So we see though that we are below the 20 day moving average. Okay. Uh, the other averages though, they are healthy below and hopefully we'll catch them and bounce back up. Okay. All right. Moving along now to our USDT of CoinX exchange. What do we see? Similar thing, right? Similar pattern. Now, oh, okay, so I have the time. So I guess we're talking time now. All right, we're talking time. So we saw that in terms of price retracement, we're at still at a decent retracement. We're in a logarithmic scale, okay? Now, the moving averages, although we're below the 20, again, daily moving average, we've got the 50, the 100, all right? 200, I believe there's no information here, yep. Okay, and then we've got this Ichimoku cloud. All right, now overall, we're still in a bullish territory. Even the, now let's, oh, uh, the lagging span, we can even measure the lagging span behind because generally Ichimoku cloud, again, study it up yourself. Um, I, I haven't really followed it too much more than just kind of really using the support resistance aspect of it. And this too, this is the lagging and once it, intermingles with once as it's above the price action bullish intermingling uh is uncertain and generally 
you wish you were in a good position before you're intermingled. And underneath it is bearish, generally. All right. All right. So yeah, but we what we can see is that we're still above, but we are behind it here this much. And we'll see. So here we are. And in terms of time, um, I got this 40 bars because what I did, by the way, price price wise, we're we're we are and level wise, we are hitting this this 550 level. We're, we are getting on the daily that decent buy support that you see here. Okay, uh, we are flattening out, let's say. Now, there's a lot of room below us here. There is nothing stopping us from hitting four and a half, three and a half. But there's also a good strong support here in this five range. So any four to three is not going to be much more than wicks at this point. Uh, I mean, unless we're really here for a long time and really kicking the bottom here, whew, then you really want to hope you can accumulate because overall, are we done here? Doubtful. That seems to be the overall sentiment. So we'll, we'll, we'll continue with that sentiment as well. Um, and now in terms of time, what I, what I did was take, I'm looking at, let's say these impulse and correction. And then from here, impulse, and now we're correction. And looking at the time. So what I did was I took our time date range. I also did the fib time zone and we can overlay it if we want and just see any curiosities there. So for the date range, taking the date range, uh, oh, I used the line just to get a better sense of where the real impulses are coming from, date-wise. Okay, so here is our impulse, let's say from here to about here, okay? And so we're gonna take our date range, move it from here to about here. Wow, 20 bars, okay, roughly. We're, I mean, this is still rough, but okay. Now we take our date range. Now, if you've seen previous videos, then you, this might be familiar to you because we have done this before, but it's nice to remember now 40 bars, roughly. I mean, I had 40 yesterday, 41, whatever. Okay, so it's like a two to one ratio. Oops, I might be off by one day. All right. Then again, um, yeah. Let's just say. Um, now, the next one, it didn't, it didn't seem like it, <laughs> but this next impulse, 20 bars. Okay. All right. Interesting. Now, are we going to take 40, 41 bars here? That takes us to beginning of June. Alrighty then, let's let's have a look. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It'll be interesting. Nothing is certain. Remember, these there nobody knows for sure what direction it is. Everything is a, a weather forecast. However, there are good metrics and tools, and and of course the people using them with the good understanding, who know how to give a. Well, they, they see the probabilities, they see the edge, and uh, there you go. So hopefully we can see the edge together. And again, if you have any comments, write them in the comments. Uh, also like that button by hitting it. So here we are into beginning June with our correction. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We see how that, that could work. You see how that could work? And then a future 20 bars, let's just imagine a future 20 bars from this rough level here. Let's take June 5. And, whoops, 20, oh, roughly end of June. So could be a short impulse, okay? Let's find out. Time-wise, that's interesting. But anyway, look, there are some charts, there are some things that 
don't come back to where they were anymore. And I still firmly believe Pirate is that is one of those. It's not coming back to its 37 cents. Now, in a huge bear market, maybe it will touch a 37 cents level, but it, I still don't, I don't know. I don't know what future valuations will be in bear markets. Do we, do we see ADA at five cents again? It's not likely. It seems like we've shifted a new plateau, a new level, you know, uh, anyway. Now, maybe a dollar, maybe, maybe a dollar. Yeah, I can definitely see in a super bear that uh, there's a, a dollar pricing because really dollar pricing, at the end of the day, uh, that's why I'm not a super dollar pricing fun person because I, th this is more so because a lot of us, you know, people get incomes or transact or have dollars in their life. And so it relates to pirate because when pirate goes, you know, when pirate goes down to, to $4 or $5 or even $3, and you, you can get some there now at this point in time, whether you had some before at 30 cents and you want more now because either you sold and bought back or whatever happens, you know, it's just how markets work, friends. Uh, or, you you know, you're just getting fresh income, which is even more fun. You get fresh income and you put it in, if that's what you're doing. Again, not advice. Then there you go. Then this, this is what we're looking for. And the thought of it, um, you know, going back to a dollar, Maybe not right now, but in ultimate terms, whatever. And that's why you put it in now. But then, in my opinion, we really, that's why I, the, the BTC chart is, is such an important chart for me. Because otherwise, why not just hold the BTC? That's one of the arguments, if, if that's what you're doing, right? Now, if you're trading, well, then that's why. That's why you're not just holding the BTC. And if you're trading in and out, I, whatever time frame, whether it's short, medium, long, and for you, short might mean a minute, it might mean a day, and long might mean three months, or it might mean three years, right? I, yeah, so these considerations are also valid to take in, all right? But anyway, back to dollar action. We can see we've broken that 20 period average, we're coming down. We're early in pirate life. We are early in pirate life. We are early in what the whole Komodo platform has to offer things, I think, and crypto in general, everything is early. And overall, really everything is, who knows what everything is worth? Nobody knows that everything is in being in price discovery. Nobody knows anything. Everything is off whack. And a part of that is because of how off whack all of the, the fiat currency action is. It's just, and everything is just so off whack. And then of course, anyway, we're not getting into those stories right now. We're trying to uh, to uh, navigate these choppy seas here on this chart. Oh, uh, one thing I didn't do at all, which I said I would do was look at MACDs and RSIs. Now I didn't say it out loud to you, but I said it to myself prior when I said, what do I wanna make sure to cover? And yeah, anyway, here we go. So here we are with this, this rounding and in time wise, yeah, we've got some time to go here, okay? Get yourselves ready. Hopefully you're in a good position to deal with this action to come. A nice plateauing, a nice rounding would be lovely. Based on all of this shape and this size, you can see now how even wicking down to a $3 level is possible. But, you know, anything is possible, okay? And everything is random. Uh, if we if we really go along with the uh, the understanding that shared with, by Mark Douglas. Yeah, this is looking good. I, I like this, I like how it looks. Do you like how it looks? This shaping here looks great. This pump here looks amazing. I like how this looks. I really do, I really do. Can it fall off a cliff? Indeed, is 350 at the, 50 period moving, 50 day moving average, roughly? Yes, it is. Do you have your scuba gear? Let's find out. The Bollinger Band now has come up a lot. You see here previously at the beginning of May, how, how wide it was. Now we have really tightened up nicely, beautiful. We wanna tighten up, wind up, and then our, of course, hopes are, our hopes are to, to the upside. 
our hopes are to the upside, our intentions are to the upside, uh, and and really the prospects are to the upside. Again, listen to those those uh, the contents that's put out. Pay pay attention. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, fiber chain, Komodo, atomic decks, branded decks is all of this stuff coming out is is massive, 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 and then. Oh, then there was just some talk yesterday. Somebody came in, you know, you got developing skills. They're just exciting times for pirate chain and for freedom and the future, privacy. Let's get it. All right. Yes. Did we look at the RSI? It's hovering around this halfway point. Cool. Let it hover. Let it chill. Are you okay with spending time? Are you okay with time for, for this pump here? Are you okay with spending time here? Now, if you are one of the so unfortunate souls, if you are one of the unfortunate souls, RIP, if you were mended and you're still with us, Well, good for you. I, I, I much respect. Stick with it. A lot of potential for the future. All right. Now, that's about it for now. I, I don't really, I mean, we're just looking at an overall picture here. I don't think that uh, yeah, we, you know, we see all the red there, there's going to be some green, but we're mainly red. Let's get some flat. Let's get some support here. It looks more supportive. Watch visually. Doesn't it look more supportive <laughs> immediately when you, when you, now it looks like it could never go below that. Right. Anyway. All right, folks. I think we are done here. We talked about time. Oh, we, one thing we didn't do was include the Fibonacci times. So let's just play with that quickly. And what did we say? We said this was the, the one. Yeah, see, when I used bars, I, I calculated it differently. So it's roughly the same though. It's roughly, it is what it is. Here's the three, here's the five is around 12 May. Maybe this will be around the time with the exchange support. There was talk about was it zip two two one two or something like that. You know, technical stuff. Here we have ten eleven. Of, uh, we have eleven Ju July. Wow. Okay, so this is far out in the future. Now let's take one more. Let's see if we can get some confluence. We'll take from this move. Where did we have it? Here to here. Boom. Okay, so we have some confluence here with a five from the previous one and the two from this one around 12, 13 May. And then again, that confluence around uh, 11, 12 Ju July. Hmm. Maybe this is like a, who knows? I'm not gonna make any predictions. Interesting. Okay. Well, there you go. So that's, that's that for that. And then the 216 was what? Oh, here's that 25 of May area, okay. So that's the two six one eight. Sorry, it's twenty five of May. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Excited for twelve thirteen of May. That's in a week. You know what? <laughs> it's funny because time goes. Now we're already six of May, and it, it just goes and it goes, and it feels like it takes forever. But also sometimes it's like falling asleep and then waking up, and all of a sudden, wow, we're May six. Oh, all of a sudden, wow, we're May 12, 13. Oh, all of a sudden, wow, we're May 25. Oh, all of a sudden, wow, we're, we're June 2. Here's that three of June 2, which is wow at the end of this 40 bars. Now, who knows, maybe because it relates the one to one and they're both 20s and 20s, so who knows. But there you go, uh, there we are, where we are, okay. I think that's it for now. I had fun with this. I hope you did too. I hope you learned something. I hope you have some thoughts now and do share them in the comments. Look forward to the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.